This is Eric Mwade for the week of January 6, 2013. This is how markets are looking to open with about one hour to go. We see the Dow called down, or actually called high about 40 points. S&P 500 called up about 4 points. Take a look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is called up about 2 points. If we take a look at overnight, we'll see that Asia was down with the Japanese market down 2.3%, China was down 1.8%, and we see that Europe is pretty much unchanged for now, trading slightly down but unchanged. A quick look at commodities, and we see that oil is up 0.45, gold is unchanged, silver is down about 0.75, natural gas is up almost one percent let's take a look at the charts of course for this week the numbers to watch for the nasdaq is 4068.75 which is this previous daily closing high here once the market broke out the market has been making higher highs here the thing we need to watch is as long as the market is holding above that level i believe the market is healthy anything above that is a healthy market if we crack below that level which we are going to have to then contend with the upward trending 50-day moving average. Maybe that might offer support, who knows. But as long as the market is holding above 40, 68.75 on the NASDAQ, the market continues being healthy. Take a look at the Dow from a weekly perspective. The level to watch is 16.086, which is this weekly closing high here. Anything above that level suggests that the market is healthy. And don't forget that we have upward trending 10-week moving average, which could offer support in case of a pullback. So net-net, the market still remains healthy. We'll see this week if the market is going to form a double top here on the RSI. If it does, then maybe that's a formation that could push the market lower. Take a look at the S&P 500. And what you see here is the level to watch is 1805.81, which is this weekly closing high there. As long as the market is holding above that, the market continues to be healthy. And don't forget, again, just like the Dow, we are trading way above the 10-week moving average, which could offer support as it has been over the last 12 months or so. So the market continues to be healthy from that perspective. Now, China was down, but not surprisingly, because from the weekend video we talked about this declining top lines being either resistance or an opportunity for the Chinese market to break out. We see that with a 1%, 2% drop overnight, it's starting to show that this is indeed resistance. So I would look for the Chinese market to continue pushing lower over time. Now, just one stock pick here, an idea. And this is for Microsoft. What I want to talk about is this high here. This high in 2000. High here in late 2007, early 2008. And this level here. What I want to show you is the break took place in 2000 after we broke down there. So this was the sell point. Major sell point for the stock. So what you do is you draw a straight line. right there and so you see that the next time we hit that level was here which corresponds precisely to that high we see we've hit that line there the green line and we seem to be coming off so I think Microsoft is a shot as long as it is not above 38.13 which is the closing high in November so Microsoft is a buy if it can break out above 38.13 Otherwise, unless it cannot move above that level, I believe the stock is telling us that this is a sell point on the RSI on the monthly, and this is a sell point on the RSI on the monthly. Again, this is going back on a monthly chart to 1988. So a lot of data here. It's telling us right now this is a sell. The one thing we can also consider is, as far as the markets are concerned, if the S&P 500 continues staying above 
or below December's high, which is basically if the market is down for the year, then we can continue looking for short ideas. If the market turns positive for the year, then we can continue buying breakouts. For now, the market is negative for the year, so we need to be looking for ideas that are breaking down. Eric Moade, good luck. Enjoy the week. I am out. Woo!